friends, it's Miss Kelsey here at the Lee Whedon Library. I thought today, since we can't have people coming into the library right now, we can do a virtual story time where I read you a book. So today I'm going to be reading Snail Crossing, and this is by Corey Tabor. This is a really fun story that's about determination and friendship. All right. So again, this is Snail Crossing by Corey Tabor, and I'm reading this today with permission from HarperCollins. One day, Snail was out scooting around when he saw the most beautiful sight. A field of plump, crisp cabbage just across the road. Well, you won't stop me, said Snail to the road. Snail had been traveling for some time when he decided to take a break. Why, I must be nearly there, said Snail. There's a snail. It doesn't even look like he's halfway. Snails move really slow. He was watching the grumbling gray clouds when he felt something coming his way. What it was, Snail couldn't say. Some things are too big and fast for snails to ponder. Looks like a truck coming his way. Well, you won't stop me, said Snail to the thing. Snail was cabbage bound. Nothing could stand in his way. The truck went right over him. Hey, you, you're standing in our way. We've got a road to cross here, yelled a troop of rowdy ants. And they probably would have carried on like that if it hadn't started to rain. Rain, cried the ants. Help! 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 Cabbage bound or not, Snail couldn't just leave them there. Come in, said, said Snail. Come in before you drown. You can see the ants going into his shell there. It's really dark in Snail's shell. Tea? asked Snail. Oh, please. Thank you. That would be lovely, said the ants. Click! Snail turned on the light for them. We're sorry. About earlier. Terribly sorry. Sometimes we get a bit antsy, said the ants. Oh, I know the feeling, said Snail, and he told them all about the plump, crisp cabbage just across the road. Hmm, said the ants. Hmm. When the rain stopped, the ants said thank you, thank you, thank you, and goodbye. Well, I hope you'll come back soon, said Snail. Count on it, said the ants, and off they went. Now where was I, said Snail to himself. Ah, yes. Snail was cabbage bound. Nothing could stand in his way. Snail was scooting right along when he noticed something standing in his way. Lunch, said the hungry crow. Well, you won't eat me, said Snail. Can't you see? I'm cabbage bound. Evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers. You can see the snail trying to confuse him. And just like that, the hungry crow was gone. Do you think that it was the snail or do you think it was the truck crossing the road that scared the crow? Snail was very relieved, but a little dizzy from all that spinning. He's singing a song here. Cabbage bound, I'm cabbage bound. Head in the clouds, foot on the ground. Snail scooted, and scooted, and scooted, and hooray, said the snail, I made it. But where was the cabbage? Well, shoot, said snail. He got so turned around running away from the crow, he went all the way back to where he started. So here's the cabbage across the road, and here's the snail. But what was that on the horizon? Could it be? It was. The cabbage was coming to Snail. Hooray, said Snail. The ants brought the cabbage to the snail. Snail bound, we're snail bound. Thank you, he said to the ants. Thank you, and thank you. Then the new friends went inside for cabbage soup and tea and no one felt antsy at all. And our snail rode out for us here 
the end. Thank you for listening to my story today. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, books are still available at the library, so you can call us and let us know what you'd like, or you can fill out the form on our website to pick up books. Uh, you can also call the library and sign up your three to five year olds for the fairy tale fun program that's starting in February. That happens on Tuesdays at 1045. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.